Sacramento County Leader Editor Robert Taborn, and it's time again to check the leaderboard. The leaderboard is a look at some of the stories around Northwest Wisconsin that we're working on for next week's Intercounty Leader newspaper. Hello everyone, we're taking some time out to look ahead to some of the stories in the next edition of the Intercounty Leader coming out on Wednesday, March the 6th. Mark your calendars for Tuesday, April 2nd, as the 2024 spring election is just over one month away from now. Of the 15 districts in Polk County, six have a contested seat with at least two candidates. Of the 21 districts in Burnett County, four have a contested seat with at least two candidates for the April 2nd election. Plus, we'll take a look at some changes coming to election maps. The current 73rd Assembly District boundaries are set to change with the new map signed by Governor Tony Evers earlier this month, affecting the seat currently held by Angie Sapic. It was said Burnett County will no longer be in the same district that it was in, and that the new maps, yeah, the county will join areas uh, along with Douglas and Washburn counties that go a little further north and east. Many people are beginning to call the past few months our lost winter of 2023-2024 due to the overall lack of cold and snowy weather patterns that normally dominate northwest Wisconsin. Polk County has only been under one winter storm warning and really has only seen a handful of days of accumulating snowfall all season. One downfall of the unusual weather we have seen could be an early and extended tick season. Now, the St. Croix National Scenic Riverway, one of 429 units of the National Park Service and headquartered in St. Croix Falls, is warning of ticks too. We'll see what that's all about. A large group of new fiber friends met at the Frederick Arts Center this past Tuesday for a two-hour span to share about passions involving various fiber-based arts. This was the second time the group has met. It was originally the idea of Frederick Arts member Marilee Thorstead, a fiber artist herself, and the goal of the group is coming together to share ideas, inspiration, and working together on group projects. The group will now continue to meet on the last Tuesday of the month from 10 a.m. to noon moving forward. Reporter Sarah Beth Rubsky has more on the group. And we continue to follow playoff high school basketball with the boys' teams now competing in the regionals. Teams that are still in the mix include Osceola, Unity, Cumberland, Shell Lake, Luck, and Siren. The second round of regional takes place on Friday, March 1st, and the regional finals are the following day over the weekend, coming up on Saturday, March 2nd. Definitely a busy one. Have a good weekend, everybody, and check those stories out and more in the next uh, paper coming out Wednesday, March the 6th. Bye, everybody. And remember, if you spot breaking news going on in your community or have a story idea, we'd love to hear from you. Drop our newsroom an email at editor at lakewind, all one word, dot ws you can also call our office monday through friday 8 a.m to 4 30 p.m at 715-327-4236 to renew or become a new subscriber yeah and don't forget you can also submit those photos of community events and sporting events through the email you see up on your screen we look forward to sharing these stories and more with you in next wednesday's edition of the inner county leader until then, continue to follow the news at leadericcpa.com.